Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
right there. Uh, the scope is kind of oddly angled on the gun, which is interesting. I like how it's got an old shotgun kind of look. Again, this show just really reminds me of a Western. Um, I'm going to take the shotgun out of his hand. Ah, for this part of the video. Uh, the other thing is he comes with a pistol. So I'm gonna lift his arm up right there. And uh, I like how it's got the little peg that uh, you flip that open and then he's got his little gun in there. So I'm gonna pull the gun out really fast and show that off. Um, it's a nice, oops, if I can get it to focus. It's a nice silver color with a um, kind of a dark gray. Oh, it's out of focus again. Dark gray handle. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, the fact that it's got the little um, belt piece uh, that goes over it on the sheath, again, reminds me of a Western. And I want to say in the trailer, he had his uh, finger over that, uh, again, like a Western. But uh, I don't know, that may just be uh, a fake memory there. Now, the cloak itself is uh, loose around his neck. It just kind of hangs around, which is kind of cool. Uh, we get some blue paint app underneath there. Uh, matches the blue triangles. We get some nice um, little, looks like bullets or something, maybe for the shotgun. As far as articulation goes on this guy, his head moves down ever so slightly. Moves up really, really well. Goes back and forth. Uh, his arms don't go out too far because of the armor plates right there, which is a bit unfortunate. They go all the way around. Um, he does have a diaphragm joint at the top. Um, no waist articulation. He's got a single jointed elbow uh, right there uh, that has a twist on it. The hands uh, spin and have a twist. His legs kick up really, really far, which is nice. They don't kick back hardly at all. Um, they kick out about that far. Uh, there is a double jointed uh, knee. Um, which is really, really tight on this figure. And then uh, he's got his uh, hinges on his ankles and he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot we love! With this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, love this helmet. It's got a nice gunmetal look going on there. I like the kind of uh, brownish paint apps on there. He's got the black tee that we're used to seeing with Mandalorians. Uh, the silver scuffs on his armor and the belt there looks good. Um, I like the light browns, the dark browns all look good. Very strange to not see an antenna on one of the Mandalorian helmets, but I definitely dig it. The cape here, Sculpted well. I like how it hangs on the figure. Uh, it could use some uh, paint applications on it, I think. It's just a flat gray. Uh, I would have also liked to see this in like just straight cloth. I think that would have been cool. But overall, this thing looks very cool. It just screams Western to me, which is a, a lot of fun. And I can't wait to see this up on the screen. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure. Again, sculpt work, very nice. I like the grays. Um, in his arms there that looks good, the blue triangles on his uh, armor, on his gloves, the belt, all the packs hanging off. The fact he's got that gun if the holster is very, very nice. It'd be cool if he could actually put his thumb up on that holster. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Um, again, very bland on the cape. I love the sculpt. It just needs some uh, paint apps on it. Uh, and again, I keep saying it, I wish it was actual cloth. I think that'd look a lot cooler. Um, but uh, yeah, and this gun has an old school shotgun look. Again, reminding me of a Western, uh, which as I kind of got a feeling that's the vibe that we're going to get in this show. So only time will tell. Taking a look at the legs of the figure, again, nice sculpt, like the gray on the pants. Uh, we get some browns um, and oranges uh, mixed in with all the different paint apps. We get this kind of uh, prong thing at the end of his gun. I don't know if it's going to stab people with it or if it's electrical, what's going on. We get, looks like, either grenades or ammunition on his boot. All looks very, very cool. The uh, cape kind of stops right below his knee up there. Just definitely very cool looking. Um, I, I, I don't know. One thing, I kind of wish the boots were a little bit bigger. I think it would look a bit more westerny uh, to go with the rest of the figure. But eh, for what it is, it definitely looks awesome. For comparison, here we have the Mandalorian with the Walgreens exclusive Force Lightning Darth Vader figure. And um, Vader's taller. I mean, he should be. He's Darth Vader. 
not that much taller than the Mandalorian here, which is pretty darn cool. So I guess this gives us a size comparison of how big the character will be on the show. Um, well, you know, it, it works. I, I like it. And uh, I, the more I look at the figure, the more I like the character. So is the Mandalorian. From the Mandalorian, something you want in your Star Wars collection. I'm going to say yes. Uh, you know, Mandalorians are cool. Boba Fett's awesome. So is Jango Fett. This show looks like it's going to be a lot of fun from the trailer. Uh, this figure has got a very Western vibe to him, very Clint Eastwood kind of vibe, and I'm digging that. I can't wait to see the actual show. Um, it, it looks like the character from the show. I'm digging it. Love the helmet. Um, the, the, the gun, though, is a little like the shotgun. It's a little bit fragile feeling, so be aware of that. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, I wish that that cloak was cloth, but, eh, I mean, those are pretty minor gripes. All in all, he's pretty badass looking. So there he is, the Mandalorian for Triple Force Friday. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.